Hi guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am trying out a new foundation. Well, this foundation came out a couple weeks ago. It's from Cover FX. It is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. And I have already used this for about a week now, so I have like a full on like opinion on it and like thoughts, review, whatever. So I'm going to just pull the foundation up real quick right here on um, line to just let you guys know what it claims to do. As long as I have known Cover FX, their foundation range has been immaculate. Like, but honestly, like I never really truly loved any of their formulas. So I was really hoping, I was rooting for this one because I really want to love one of their um, foundations because the coverage is also really, really good in general when it comes to Cover FX. It does retail for $44 and it comes in one fluid ounce at first, I thought the, they sent me the wrong thing because the box was so tiny, you guys. Where's the box? I think I kept it. I, I kept the box because I really was just shocked. Like, this is how tiny the box is. Just to show you guys in comparison to, like, this big old bottle of NARS foundation. And they sent this tiny little thing. And I thought they sent me a concealer by accident. I was like, what is this? So there are 40 shades of foundation, which I think is pretty standard for cover effects. They usually are a lot of shades. So these this is the shade chart right here. Um, in the past, I tried the natural something foundation. I forget what it was called, but it was just not good for my oily skin. And I did try the shade G100 and it worked for me. So I picked up the shade G100 in this foundation as well. It is a modern matte foundation, weightless full cover that provides sweat proof all day wear power, sh powerful shine control and environmental protection. So it is supposed to be medium to full cover, buildable coverage with ultra fine powders that control shine, visibly burn imperfections and staying in place. So what we're looking for with this foundation is matteness, full cover, um, and staying in place, controlling shine and looking kind of powdery on the face. So I'm just gonna open up the bottle and tell you guys about the, the package because I do have a one con about this foundation, um, about the package itself. So it's a twist off the top. And the thing that I do not like about this foundation um, when I first opened it was the applicator or the application of it so it's like a squeezy tube and I could I know that once I get through with the majority of the product it's gonna be really hard to get the rest out because it's just not gonna be able to get out of here like how am I gonna squeeze out any product because the bottle is too hard to really get product out I'm not really sure how it's gonna work so um, at this point though I mean it's still a full bottle so I'm able to squeeze out product so I'm gonna use the no problem primer from touch in soul I have been really liking this primer a lot and I've been using this one and my NARS primer like alternating between the two of them so I'm just gonna apply this to my face all right so then I'm gonna just squeeze this product to the back of my hand I'm gonna show you guys here it comes out really nicely as you see. So I'm gonna start out with the brush. I'm gonna use this Smashbox um, brush I have been loving. This is the powder foundation brush, which I use for liquid products because it's really good for that in my opinion. So I'm just gonna start here and start applying the foundation. The shade match is pretty good as you can see. You could probably also tell that um, it is a pretty full cover, like medium coverage I, I would say, not yet full. I'm just gonna blend that out. So this is one section of my face with the brush. I'm gonna use a sponge for the other side of my face. This is the Morphe Blending Sponge, which I love it. I'm just gonna pat that into my skin. It do looks pretty similar, but since the formula is more of a matte formula, I feel like with the sponge, it kind of just goes in and settles in better than with the brush for some reason i'm not sure why maybe because the sponge is damp it's helping the product you know glide on a lot easier than a dry brush that's what i think is going on because somehow with the sponge i feel like it just works better for me so this side looked completely matte because the brush was dry but this side looks like it has a little bit of um shine at first like a little bit of a radiance and then it dries on matte it does remind me of the fancy beauty foundation in the sense of like how it dries down it, it reminds me of that foundation so this is what the foundation looks like i love that it just looks like you know one with me like it just blends right in 
It doesn't even oxidize, so that's good. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll come back to chat with you guys. All right guys, so I finished off my entire face of makeup. I am wearing the foundation right now and I guess I'll give you guys my thoughts on the foundation. In terms of coverage, it is definitely buildable to full cover foundation. It is a long wear foundation and it does stay pretty matte. I do see some of that powderiness that it talked about in the description. When it, uh, when it came to blending it out, I feel like it blends out better with the sponge like I mentioned earlier. Just because of the texture of the foundation. I do really like the foundation. I do think it stays on really, really nicely throughout the day. I don't think it's too much more mattifying than most other mattifying foundations that I do own. Um, it is true to color, so it doesn't really oxidize on you, which is great. You can get your perfect match right on the spot, basically. Definitely do recommend this foundation. Besides the um, packaging, I really like it. I wish the packaging was different with maybe a pump or something where you could screw off where you wouldn't be wasting product towards the end of use. It is dry, so if you have if you do have dry skin, you will probably not like it. I want to let you know that right now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review and. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.